In this video, I'm going to give you tips and tricks into how to see forward in terms of price action, what to look for, and how to see what is coming. Let's run the numbers. When looking at Bitcoin and any particular price chart, the price chart can look really random. It's going all over the place. But why? The truth is, structure controls everything. I'm just going to pop on this indicator and give you a view. It takes many decades inside financial markets to actually understand internal structure. It takes many decades to realize it's there. When we look at this particular resistance level, we could see that Bitcoin could not confirm a cent above that area. And therefore, it was coming down to the lower structural level. And also, we saw a bit of a what I call a crack in the concrete. When you see things like this, it means there's weakness. So expect to go down to lower structural levels. Fortunately, inside Bitcoin's market structure, around that 67 to 80 mark and below was fairly significant structural support. And also above that was a negative fresh air gap. That meant the price could move down very, very quickly. But negative fresh air gaps also turn into positive fresh air gaps as well. Your key in all things is understanding and knowledge. If you wanted to take on a new sport or wanted to do a new activity, you really need to know what you're doing. For example, inside the stock market, inside the crypto market, Forex commodities, they're all the same. There is always internal structure. This internal structure, you'll notice that you have heavier lines and lighter lines. The lighter lines are less support and resistance depending on where price is. If price is below, it's a structural resistance line. If price is above, it's just structural support line. So support is below, resistance is above. We can see right now, currently, Bitcoin is 70,251. It's just testing the underside of that structural resistance level. And these structural resistance levels aren't drawn from recent indicative price, which is RIP, which RIPs your money. It's drawn across 5,200 days worth of data. This is the institutional mindset. The retail mindset is just look at the past week or just look at the past day or the past three weeks or the past whatever days, but it's not looking across all of price action. This is why the CTKS method is the world's most powerful smart money buy and sell level detection system. Inside the service this month, I gave some very good insights into retests, failures and passes and what it actually means in terms of structure. What you can see here is if we can't get above sustainably, we're going to the next structural level below. And if we do get above, we're seeking to go up to the next structural level if price maintains itself. You've got to be very aware of cut unders and cut overs. A cut under is where we lose a diagonal support line. And a cut over is where we get above a diagonal resistance line. Cut unders and cut overs are incredibly powerful and they're part of the CTKS method. They were invented by me. You might say, that's not much of an invention, Ken. You know, everybody knows that when a line passes a line, that's significant. But cuts are very special. The interpretation of a cut line, just like the interpretation of a structural line, is very, very different. And I've been inside the markets for nearly four decades. So I've had a bit of experience, you could say. For the masterclass students and those who have done the certification, please let me know what's your interpretation of cut lines. Have they helped you out? And has structure helped you out? The CTKS method is the world's leading indicator of price. And when you understand how to use it, you'll find it's just incredible. I'm providing a very limited number of partial scholarships to the CTKS method certification so you can learn it yourself. My goal is to help you to become more of a financial and emotional blessing to yourself and those you love, and you can make money from any market. The partial scholarships that I'll be awarding are for the CTKS method, which is the world's most powerful smart money buy and sell level detection system.
The partial scholarships will cover both Level 1 Standard Certification and Level 2 Standard Certification. It may look fairly simple to draw random lines on charts, but you'll find they're not random at all. Level 1 Standard Certification is the foundations, the required foundations, and you also receive a certificate. Level 2 Standard Certification is where the rubber hits the road. That's where all the magic occurs. And you can see it's quite involved, but you're putting your money on the line. You should at least know where smart money is looking as well. To apply for the partial scholarship, just go to the links in the description of this video and you'll see that you can directly message me on Twitter slash X. That's Stanfield, S-T-A-N-D-F-I-L-D. Two Ds in Stanfield, Ken. I would always suggest that any particular YouTuber that you want to interact with, just make sure that you go to the About section and just deal with them directly from that area. And the golden rule in trading and investing, never ever let anybody trade and invest on your behalf. Do it yourself if you want to make money and to keep it. Financial markets are like everything in life. You must have a degree of knowledge if you wish to be successful. What you saw, those horizontal dotted lines, they're called CTKS structure and they determine price waves. That is Literally, price is always going up and down. It goes up and then it comes down. This is price just moving in a wave. This is normal. A lot of people say, where is price going? When it gets to a resistance level, it's going down. Where is price going? When it gets to a support level, it's going up. When it hits another resistance, it's going down. You get the idea. The CTKS structure is the support and resistance levels inside markets, and they're very important to understand where they actually are. And you also want to look across the Tier 1, Tier 2, and Tier 3 charts. The Tier 1 charts are the engine of financial markets globally, and they're all intercorrelated and interconnected. For example, if the VIX comes down, we would expect the major indices to rally. What does that mean? If the major indices rally, Bitcoin cannot escape the stock market's gravity. We would expect that to go up as well. If the major indices are going up, we would expect the subcomponents of the indices to be going up as well. But, however, if the yields start to spike, such as the US 10-year, the US 2-year, they would put positive pressure and momentum on the DXY which could throw negative momentum across silver and gold and other commodities. However, it depends on the time and structure of the current business cycle. Sometimes, in, when there are inflationary pressures, increases in the US 10 and the US 2 yield increases in gold and silver which is by nature a different kind of economic environment than the one we've currently been in, but the one we're starting to enter. In other words, you really need to understand what you're doing. If the major indices are going up, that will put positive price momentum on Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the controller for all the alts. So if you just focused only on Solana and you didn't understand the key levels of Bitcoin and you weren't looking at the tier one and tier two and tier three charts, it means that you're just gambling. If you're gambling, you know the house will win. I don't want the house to win. I want you to win. That's why I'll be providing a very limited number of partial scholarships to level one and level two standard certification. When you're looking at the alts or Bitcoin, just also have a look at total crypto market cap. Total crypto market cap is moving structure level to structural level. So they're very important to pop on your chart. Let's pop them on with the indicator. But if you learn level one and level two, you can do it yourself. It's a skill you virtually learn for a lifetime. Okay, let's see where the structural levels are. We can see that we've had a lot of structure between this $2.58 trillion and $2.54 trillion mark. Now, what happened recently with total crypto market cap? When the CPI figures came out, they just sunk the market. So we saw a losing of all of that support and then it turned into resistance. That means for a bullish case or bullish momentum, which means upward price bias. 
We're going to need to reclaim this $2.58 trillion mark, retest and come back up again. These retests are very important. You can see this is a failed retest. What does that mean? A retest simply looks like this. It goes up higher than the previous peak. If it comes down, goes lower like this, I'll just show you here. If it goes lower like this, this is already a failed retest and this is a confirmation of weakness. This means that these structural levels are going to get tested. If they don't hold, and typically they do hold, but if they don't hold because of all sorts of things that can happen in market, you would expect to go down to the next structural level, get caught there and rebound up into structure again. These particular levels are gravitationally biased. That means they tend to pull price back towards themselves. That's either to the upside or to the downside. The downside you can see pretty clearly here. This is an upside gravitational repull. You can imagine, if you were looking at the chart like this, you simply wouldn't know that this was a failure before it occurred, and you wouldn't know where the structure was, and also where all the resistance was, and how strong it was, and how clustered it was. And if it was subjected to a pull down in price from a gravitational level, you wouldn't know where it could get caught and where it could rebound to. And at this point, you wouldn't know what's actually happening. You would just think price is clear above this and price is clear below it. But it's not the case at all. Can we apply the CTKS method and the markup of level one and level two standard certification to something like oil, which has been around for more than 59,000 days? Of course we can. Let's pop on the indicator. And that will reveal the structural levels. Let's have a look. We can see that Oil's price action is not random. It's simply moving between structural levels. You can see this structural level at around that 86.20 mark had a negative gap below it. That meant if it wasn't coming back and positively retesting, it was going to go down to the next structural level and look at how it held. If it gets up above, where's it going? To the next cluster of structural resistance levels and so forth and so on. We see this all the time. You can see that it's a leading indicator of price because these lines project forwards. Let's have a look at gold. It looks pretty random what's happening inside gold, but what if I told you it wasn't random at all? What if I said there was a scientific structure that you could draw up yourself and see what exactly is happening inside gold and look at it from an institutional level, not a retail level. Retail means lose money. Institutional make money. Because institutions, they run the numbers. They don't look at recent indicative price. They look at all of price. So let's do that and let's pop on the indicator. By doing so, we're just revealing objective dynamic market structure. This is where CTKS structure comes from. You can see this specific level just above that 2325. That was a resistance level. We couldn't get above sustainably. We got forced down to the level below. But when we did get through, we came up into a cluster of structural resistance levels. These levels are like X-ray vision because you can tell where the market can come back to. We've seen that gold has been rallying. It's currently 2373. But we know just because gold is rallying, that doesn't mean it won't come back and retest a lower structural level. This is where retail gets killed all the time financially. They see something going up and up and up and they FOMO into it, never realizing price is always moving in a wave. You always have the opportunity to come back at a better price, even if it's going up. This is no different in gold. Gold has definitely cleared some structural resistance levels, but there is always structure inside the market. And we would need to retest to get to a level where we feel confident that gold can sustain its upward price momentum or else it will simply collapse. It's literally shocking how effective an understanding of CTKS structure is. You're not guessing. You're not doing random stuff. You're putting on an institutional perspective. Returning to Bitcoin, we can see Bitcoin's price momentum is all over the place, but we know it's not. It's just reflecting 
weakness and strength in terms of structure. We can see Bitcoin currently trading at 70,181. Let's pop on structure to see where it's going. By putting on structure, you get your X-ray vision on and that's what you're going to need. The markets are highly chaotic and we can see that Bitcoin has a level of structure just above the price that it's at now. What does this mean? It means that Bitcoin is under resistance. What does that mean? If it can't get above, where's it going? To the level below. And we've seen this level get hit in previous times and it's managed to hold price as well if it doesn't get held here it's moving down to the next structural level which is approximately 69,055 this lower structural level is around that 69,780 mark but we always have three-dimensional risk management playing out at all times if we manage to confirm this structural resistance level and start to come up it will move in a wave just always be aware of moving in a wave the next structural level is at 71,800. A lot of people just want absolute certainty as to where price is going. You have it with this. You know if it confirms above, it's going to the one above. It confirms below, it's going to the one below. It's that simple and you are 100% certain. If you're interested in the partial scholarship, just always remember that your learning is your earning and that applies to everything in life and you can always directly message me on x slash twitter these are the only things that i'm involved with and please know i will never manage your money you need to manage your money by yourself and the only things that i'm involved with are these things here have a great day or night ahead, my friends, and Kate and I look forward to catching up with you again in the next video. Bye for now.